In his attempt to establish the restaurant, Giancarlo held a press night at the beginning of the week, dragooning the students into the kitchen to help him prepare. Last night, the restaurant was not supposed to be open, but 15 guests arrived nevertheless, and Giancarlo had to rise to the occasion very short-handed. But tonight is the official first night. Time to find out whether the journalists and the poster campaign have borne fruit. They haven't. The restaurant has no bookings other than the students. More wonderful little petals, you yes, chef. lot. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. But it's going to be done properly nevertheless. So you go this, this little antipasto first, then pasta fresca. Today we made some uh, tortelloni with uh, spinach ricotta, pine nuts and sage and butter. You no, know, I'm not disappointed because I need to take a view that I've got guests to look after. And that takes a lot, lot, lots, of, lots, of, lots of time. We didn't make any pappardelle, but we can do them very quickly. It's coming to me slowly, slowly. And I've got probably next week we'll have more people coming to the restaurant. Promises, people promise, but they have to come or not. I don't know. So if I get six customers, eight customers, ten customers, I think I'm doing very well. Hang on, you're just reading it out in Italian. Yes, but because you've been here a week, so you, you should know what you're eating. That's skinny house, is it? That was the same Okay, while you ponder over the menu, I'll go and take it over to the other table, okay? Because you're useless. There is one other table containing old friends Nello, Livia, and Daniele who have dropped in to make up the numbers. Despite the lack of guests, waitress Clara has dressed for the part, and she and Luciano are certainly on form. Everything looks immaculate. It's not quite what Giancarlo was hoping for, but at least it's good practice for new sous chef Andrea, now on his second night. Thank you.